first question is from Hades Gray 9. Is it okay to do, only do compound exercises like bent over rows, chest press, squats, etc., and leave out isolation exercises like bicep curls, tricep extensions, etc.? What do you think, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a, it's a, i mean uh, yes it's totally okay and uh, isolation exercises will help you add more volume to certain muscle groups will help you with development you'll probably build a little bit more muscle but uh mm -hmm. compound exercises do most of the work they do most of the work with muscle building and fat burning and strength gain in fact this is how i trained a lot of my everyday average clients who came in a couple days a week <laughs> They wanted to just be healthy and, and be strong and be fit and be mobile. And rarely would I do a lot of isolation exercises. Mo mainly I would focus on the compound stuff. Like, for example, if I'm taking you through a workout and we do squats, rows, bench presses, overhead presses, and then I look up at the clock and I have 10 minutes left or 15 minutes left with my client, um, I can choose another compound exercise or I could choose another one or two isolation exercise. I'll probably go with the compound exercise. Yeah, just it's funny. Ironically, I'm I'm doing the opposite these days. But yes, this used to be my, my go-to in terms of like always leaning heavy on the compound exercises, only doing the isolation ones when uh, I felt like I was just trying to get ready for the beach or something, you know, uh, uh, to, 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 to highlight uh, more muscle definition or whatever. But in terms of what I got me the most bang for the buck and, and the most strength uh, and, and the most efficiency in my workouts was always, you know, geared around focusing my workouts around these compound lifts, squats, overhead press, deadlifts, you know, what have you. Well, it's very simple why why this is true because you can't you cannot get strong or good at an overhead press without your triceps getting developed also. Like you're not going to push, you're not going to get stronger doing it. Like if you just, yeah, so I think, gets that, I think that's an important thing to note though. When you talk about these compound lifts, it's like you, you still want to have a goal of getting stronger doing all those lifts. And if you do get stronger as a side effect, you know, you're going to have, you develop your triceps. If you get good at pull-ups and you get good at overhead presses, the tricep and the bicep are both going to develop. It's just part of it. It's just part mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. You can't get to a place where you're pressing 180, 200 pounds up over your head or pulling your, your body weight 10, 15 times or with weight uh, attached to you and not think that your biceps are going to develop from the pull-ups and not think that your triceps are not going to develop from your overhead press. That's the beauty of it. And the thing is, when you do the isolation exercises, you don't get any other added benefits to other muscle groups. You're getting it to that one specific muscle group. So it makes sense to me when you're somebody who is trying to develop an area, like you, it, you're you talking about aesthetics or you care about the way a muscle looks. And so that's your focus. General population, most of my clients that were coming in to lose body fat and build a little muscle, just want to be healthy, uh, have a balanced physique. They're like, hey, that's what we want to do. We do mostly compound lifts. If you have somebody who comes in says says something specific like Adam, I want to work on my my you know triceps or my arms. I want to develop my arms more. Or you know they they have a specific or their butt right. If you have a specific body part that you want to target, there's then absolutely we utilize uh, isolation exercises and they do have value. But for the most for the majority. If you were to just do if do those movements and get really good at those movements, the bicep oh, yeah. and the tricep would and develop. saving you time. I I, I swear it's it's funny because going back into these isolation right. moves and like how much time it takes me to get through these workouts, it feels like forever. I, I mean, in, in terms of like me just doing like a five by five where I'm just focused on like five exercises and you know I'm sort of in and out within 30, 40 minutes. You know now I'm like you know really honing in on isolating and it takes me like a good hour, hour twenty minutes to finish. So yeah, I mean look at like. Yeah. Uh, for example, look at gymnasts. They have some of the most amazing biceps uh, in sports aside from bodybuilders, right? Gymnasts don't do curls. Uh, they do a lot of pull-ups. They do a ton of pull -ups. They have amazing triceps too, but they do a lot of dips. They don't do a lot of tricep uh, press downs. Isolation exercises are great to add extra volume. Um, they're great for things like pre-exhausting and connecting to certain muscles groups. So I'm not saying that they're not valuable, but if I had to pick one or the other, I mean, it's hands down compound exercises, hands down. There's no, no competition.